What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and as you can tell, we are on the Paragon Software Group website, and this is what we are here to get, is the Backup and Recovery 14 Free Edition. So simply just download it, go through all the steps to download it, and then we get this right here. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed so that we can actually back up our system. Okay, you're given two choices. You can either do the backup and recovery 14 for 32-bit, or you can do it for 64-bit. We have 64-bit, so that is what we're going to choose. This right here, the hot core driver, that is if you're going to be dealing with Windows 2000. Right here, recommended for Windows 2000. However, we are no longer using Windows 2000, and we do not want to choose that. So let's click on Next, and then Install. And we're going to install this right here. It has to be installed. If you do not install it, then it will not work. So let's go ahead and choose Install. And click on Finish. Click on this and go ahead and close out of that because we no longer need it. We're going to come right here and then we're going to come over to our all apps. Scroll all the way down to our piece and we got Paragon. We're going to choose the Paragon Backup and Recovery. Go ahead and click on it and choose yes. Let's go ahead and choose the Backup and Recovery switch to full scale launcher. Okay, and what we want to do is that we want to back up our C drive. So we're going to click on our C drive right here. Then we're going to come right here and we're going to choose back up to VD. That's virtual drive. Go ahead and click it. And then we're going to choose next. And it says press shift or control to select several object, objects at once. It makes it really hard to see so you need to stretch out this window so that you can actually see everything and we want our C drive is what we want let's go ahead and bring this back over here click on next and then we are going to save it to our let's go ahead and open this back up to our J drive right here so we're going to do J back up and now, uh, let's see, uh, change backup settings. Everything is pretty basic on this, so you really don't need to mess with anything. But just in case you do, let's go ahead and click on Next. And this is just right here. It's just going to ask you several different questions, and then you just answer them the best that you can. I'm going to leave everything default here. I'm going to leave default here as well. And I'm going to leave that default. And the password protection is already set to pass, uh, Paragon encryption so that's what we're going to choose and we're going to go ahead and password protect this file okay and let's click on next and it says the wizard did not commit the changes click on finish and now come over here and choose apply and then choose yes and now it is going to start doing its backup Okay, our backup has uh, completed successfully. Okay, let's come over here, right click on our folder and go over here to our J drive and our backup. And let's right click, go down to properties and we have 27 gigabytes. So that is our backup. And if we come over here, let's go ahead and click on close right here. Whenever we restore our backup, the only thing we have to do is simply choose Restore from VD, which is Virtual Drive, or Archive, which is right here because it's already got it listed. And so then we choose this and then enter our password and then click on Next. So we're going to choose this and then enter our password. Click on OK. And so it went ahead and opened that up for us. And then we click on next and then restore disk or partition, restore files or folders. And so in my case, I would most likely do the restore disk or partition. And then I would come over here, choose the local disk right here and then click on next and then where to restore. 
and then we will simply open this up and choose our C drive right here and then we will click on next and then it would restore uh, that drive for us which is our C drive which is selected right there and then we click on next and then it will restore our drive for us so i'm not going to do that because i do not need to restore it right now but i have a backup in case i do need to restore this is wayne baron with darkfix.net inside of paragon's backup and recovery 14 free with windows 10 and our backup y'all have a good one now bye bye